Hi everybody, another facial bone that I wanna go over with you is the mandible, otherwise known as our jaw bone. So I'm gonna detach this mandible from our multicolored skull and just go over the parts with you quickly. So the mandible can be broken down into two major parts. You have the body right here, and this diagonal projection is the ramus. Where the ramus and the body come together, we have a 120 degree angle known as your mandibular angle. So now I'm gonna go over the specific structures unique to the ramus and the body. Let's start with the ramus. The term ramus actually means bridge. This is basically the bridge that connects the body of the mandible to the rest of the skull. So there's two processes that are flaring out on either side of the ramus. This process right here, you're familiar with, this is our condylar process, which articulates with the mandibular fossa of the temporal bone. And we reviewed this articulation before when we talked about um, the temporal bone and the temporal bone uh, anatomy tutorial. This more anterior point is known as the coronoid process. It's called the coronoid process because it makes a point-like shape that's analogous to the points on a crown. All right, so now let's get to the body. These ridges that coincide where the teeth erupt, and these are the teeth of the lower jaw, right? These ridges are known as the alveolar processes. Remember, we also have alveolar processes in the maxillae that are associated with the teeth of your upper jaw. And then these two holes on either side of the body of the mandible are known as your mental foramina. Remember, if you wanted to refer to one of these holes in the singular tense, you would use the term mental foramen. All right, and that's the mandible.